TSL round 11 match of the day today at uh, North Hobart Oval, Glenorchy versus North Hobart. In what was uh, a bizarre week for statewide mm -hmm. league football, Andy, we saw uh, coach Clinton Brown uh, axe from North Hobart and then signing with Glenorchy yeah. and the two teams <laughs> face off today. Clinton Brown, of course, didn't play in this game, but uh, geez, that would have been a headline if he did. He did. I was a little bit excited about him playing. That would have brought an extra little bit of spice. Not that I needed it. You know, it was an intriguing week in football. I've never seen one like this. Clinton Brown, uh, did he jump on? Did he fall on his sword? Was he was he pushed? It was pretty clear he was pushed in the end. What we didn't know was how North Hobart were going to react. I think we were all hoping they'd bounce back. They, you know, they had to. You know, they, they, on the basis of their efforts in the season so far, they've got a coach sat. We know they've got plenty of physical ability. Were they able to match that with the application and cohesion they needed? Well, they came up trumps today, Brett. Well, we saw a different North Hobart today, yeah. didn't we? Particularly around the stoppages, their defensive work. Same that Lance Sporting touched on before the game that uh, that, that was going to be an error and there was no doubt that that was a, you know, a real emphasis that the players uh, worked hard on. Yeah, they had really good structure today. They implemented a full game, uh, full field press for much of the day and I thought for three quarters they really held that together. Their defensive pressure was great. Their tackle, uh, Paul Allison, they had two Key forwards, uh, Zeke Gard and Paul Allison, both kick goals, but the most impressive part was the bit you talked around. I thought defensively and organisation-wise, they were just a different side than we'd seen in the last five or six weeks, where they are pretty ordinary, really. And of course, the David Camerick, uh, Paul Allison clash today uh, was one that we watched closely. Uh, Paul Allison involved in that piece of vision there, which was goal of the day to Aaron Veach, but more so the setup from yeah. Paul Allison. Yeah, he was terrific. He was terrific early on. And against no slouch, David Cameron can play. And how about this guy? Talking about Ken plays. Zick Gardner, I think, probably had his best performance for the year. Kicked five. But what was impressive around it was he really attacked the ball with real strength. He, he won one-on-one -on -one contests. He ran into space. Finished off Zane Murphy, we saw a moment ago. I thought he played better team-oriented football for a little while. At the end of the third quarter, Sam Chivers kicked two goals. And we thought Glenorchy well, might get back to it, but the gap was just too far against a very accomplished North Hobart side. And as impressive as North Hobart were, Glenorchy were, yeah. you know, just just well off their game at the moment. Uh, they've beaten Devonport, uh, South Launceston, apologies, last week. Yeah. Uh, they haven't really beaten a team of, of any calibre in, yeah. in, in the last six or seven, well, even eight weeks. Yeah, they're struggling, really struggling for form, fitness and now confidence, and they've got the job ahead of them. And uh, North Hobart coming out on top today. 15 10 100 played Glenorchy 11 3, 69, 25 scoring shots to 14, uh, the, the, the biggest difference.